Boats' finish and design are only as good as the molds that form them. And those molds are only as good as the wood plugs from which they come. Many boat builders cut corners by using composite materials for their plugs instead of wood. Or they use a process called splashing to eliminate the plug altogether. The builders at Crown Line, on the other hand, believe that the only way to ensure perfect design representation and flawless finish is to use traditional wooden plugs, even though using them is considerably more expensive than other methods. Crown Line has over 40 years of experience in our plug design team. Since the inception of Crown Line, our master craftsmen have built our wood plugs, setting the standards for design and finish in the boating industry. After the initial plug arrives at the plant, it is the job of Crown Line's R&D department to create the finished plug. The plug is considered finished when all rough edges are smooth, curves and detail lines applied, and exact scale measurements are in place. To achieve this detailed, full-scale plug, tooling gel is applied to the initial plug and sanded to a mirrored finish. Next, the first mold of the finished plug is made. Measurements are checked, all surfaces and detail lines are checked, and the mold surface is given a final quality audit. After all design and quality criteria have been approved by top management, the glass master is made. It is from this master that all molds used in production will be generated. Crown Lion prides itself on being the world leader in mold maintenance and preservation. All of Crown Lion's molds are cured for a minimum of three weeks to ensure the very best exterior cosmetics. Most manufacturers would never allow such an extensive mold seasoning process. All molds are stored indoors in a specifically controlled environment and carefully covered to protect them from dust, debris, scratches, even fingerprints. Other manufacturers often store their molds out of doors. In addition, all molds are maintained following a strict schedule and all maintenance is carefully logged. After every application, the textured areas of all molds, both deck and hull, are rewaxed. After every five hulls, the entire mold is removed from production for rewaxing. All molds are completely stripped and rewaxed after every 25 pieces. Prior to gel coating, each mold is dusted out with an air hose and carefully wiped down with a damp cloth to remove any airborne particles that may have settled on the mold surface. Once a mold is prepared and given final inspection, the gel coat is applied in a state-of-the-art, environmentally controlled gel coat booth. Crown Line uses only the finest ingredients, buff back for the base and armor coat for high gloss. Both are from Cook's Composites, the industry leader, and both very expensive due to their superior blister resistance, UV resistance, and shine. Each gel coat is applied through its own individual spray gun to ensure color integrity. Very few manufacturers apply gel coat in this very effective and very costly manner. The initial thickness of the gel coat layer is 25 to 30 mils wet, which dries down to 20 to 22 mils. Other manufacturers apply only 20 to 25 mils, which dries down to a mere 15 to 17 mils. Crown Line then applies the first of two vinyl ester barriers, from waterline to waterline, running the entire length of the hull as added protection against blistering. The mold is then taken from the spray booth to the lamination floor. All units receive a minimum cure time of 60 minutes. Most receive several hours before the lamination process begins. Other manufacturers do not allow this much setup time. At Crown Line, however, we believe the overall quality and premium cosmetics of the gel coat are well worth it. The second vinyl ester barrier coat, black in color, is used as a glass print barrier. It is applied and allowed a cure time of 30 minutes. Next, 
100 ml of hand-rolled chopped glass and spray core are applied. This third barrier receives a minimum cure time of 45 minutes. Bolt skin is then applied using chop glass, woven roving, bidirectional, and core mat. This time-proven lamination method prevents print through, ensures void-free reinforcement areas, and helps guarantee that the cosmetics on the exterior gel are impeccable. Next, the pre-assembled interlocking wood grid stringer systems are put in place. Made from the best marine products available, 100% XL treated wood, they have a lifetime warranty against rot. These XL treated wood stringers are affixed to the hull and are completely encapsulated in hand rolled fiberglass. Many manufacturers have recently jumped on the all fiberglass bandwagon. We know better. Although fiberglass reinforced plastic, or FRP, has gained acceptance lately, it's mostly due to the marketing efforts of manufacturers who use FRP. What these manufacturers don't tell you is that the material composition of FRP makes for a more rigid hull bottom. As a result, they generate more noise and the stringers are more susceptible to cracking at the joints. Plywood, on the other hand, has proven itself over the years to be the strongest, lightest, most flexible, and most dependable material for building boats. Using a high-grade, watertight polyurethane adhesive, a complete fiberglass inner liner is then affixed to the stringer base. This inner liner completes the structure and finishes the floor of the boat. The result is a solid, easy-to-clean surface that includes the ski locker and bilge Crownline's hybrid process of uniting an encapsulated wood stringer system with a full fiberglass inner liner produces the best of both wood and fiberglass hull construction features. Linking the strength, flexibility, and superior sound deadening qualities of wood with the high gloss cleanable finish of fiberglass to make a quieter, sturdier boat. No Crownline competitor performs this hybrid process. Industry-wide, Crown Line's double reinforced hull remains uniquely durable. After the lamination process is complete, the unit is returned to the mold maintenance room so that it can be extracted from the mold in a pristine environment. This last step is critical, as this is the first time the mirror finish is exposed to the light. Other manufacturers pull their molds on the lamination floor, which exposes them to contaminants and overspray. Not Crownline, when we reveal our best in class exterior cosmetics, the investment in our wooden plug, mold curing, quality materials and maintenance schedule exemplify true value. In the grind and trim department, all rough edges are removed. Vent, port light and docking light cutouts are made. And Engine transom cutouts are made to the appropriate engine X dimension for each model. Precision templates are used for all cutouts to ensure accuracy. Crown line bow and stern eyes are installed near the edge of the transom for ease of use. This convenient placement is made possible by the strength of the crown line transom, which is reinforced and spans the full length and width of the transom. Other manufacturers must install their lifting eyes much closer to the center of the transom because they reinforce only the area around the engine. Stringer cavities are then filled with expanding closed cell foam for flotation and sound deadening. Custom fit rotocast fuel tanks are installed and ski locker frames, hull ladders and brass drain plugs are installed. At this critical point in the building process, the deck and hull units receive the first of three major quality inspections. On Crown Line boats, all engines and drives are installed and fully aligned at the plant. Motor mounts are installed to the stringer system, which runs the entire length of the motor well, to distribute weight and ensure the strongest possible engine to hull integrity. Most builders ship the drives in a box, uninstalled. But at Crown Line, 
Only certified technicians, highly trained professionals who must be recertified each year, are entrusted with the delicate task of engine installation. Exhaust systems, docking lights, bilge and blower, and fully loomed wiring harnesses are also installed during this phase. Crown Line interiors are completely designed and built in-house for two very good reasons. First, it enables Crown Line to maintain complete quality control. Second, it provides the flexibility to offer different cockpit variations that are custom fitted to each model. Interiors can be customized from eight different accent colors and three different base vinyls. Solid colors are also available at no charge. No other manufacturer offers this flexibility and luxury, let alone at no extra charge. Crownline uses the highest quality 34 ounce vinyls with a prefix finish. This finish gives our vinyls many distinct advantages over those used by other manufacturers. Superior resistance to stains and easier cleanup than conventional vinyl. Tests show that Prefix provides eight to 10 times more resistance to scuffing and snagging than conventional finishes. As a result, Crown Line interiors stay new looking longer. All Crown Line vinyls are made with pigments and additives that resist fading and degradation by ultraviolet light. And they're fully tested to ensure they'll hold up in a marine environment. Because all Nautilex marine vinyls are produced in an ISO 9002 certified facility, all materials, pigments, stabilizers, and additives must meet the highest quality standards. All Nautilex marine vinyls with a prefix finish carry a five-year written warranty covering materials and workmanship. No other vinyl manufacturer in the marine industry offers such an extensive warranty. Before the vinyl coverings are applied, the foam is wrapped in plastic to create a vapor barrier between the vinyl and foam, providing additional mold and mildew protection. Installation of rotocast bucket bolster seat frames and PVC bow filler cushion frames completes the process. Crown Line uses only color matched canvas from Sunbrella, the recognized leader in the industry. Canvas pieces are cut and assembled similarly to that of the stringer systems, using computerized machines for an exact custom fit every time. The clear plastic of the front connector and side and aft curtains is 30 gauge material, thicker than most of our competitors. And stitching is wax coated to resist deterioration from the sun and to resist rot. The boat is now ready for final assembly. All carpeting is 28 ounce marine grade with rubber backing to aid in the evaporation of water and installed in one piece to avoid the separation of seams. All liner carpeting is easily removable, mold and mildew resistant, stain resistant and fade resistant, providing 3000 hour UV stability. Bucket seat or sleeper seat bases are set and interior custom fitted side panels are installed. If the boat is a bow rider, cockpit seating is set and installed and forward bow area cushions are placed. If it's a cuddy or cruiser, cabin interiors, galley areas, forward cabins, aft cabins and head compartments are outfitted. Windshields are set and installed. Stainless steel canvas snaps embossed with a crown line logo are patterned, and the bow and cockpit canvas is installed. At this point, the deck and hull of each boat receive their second major inspection. The finished interior is inspected as well. For the third and final inspection, a final inspection specialist carefully examines every boat from bow to stern. Every engine is run from remote fuel tanks to check the integrity of the engine installation, as well as ancillary items like power trim, pumps, electrical wiring, and shift and throttle gauges. Each fuel tank is vacuum tested for leaks. 
and every boat is subjected to a final quality checklist to ensure completeness. The agent inspecting the unit must sign off on the final condition of the boat before it leaves the plant. Before loading for transport, the engines are winterized and the boats are prepared for shrink wrapping by receiving the pre-liner along the windshields and the gunnel to avoid chafing from shrink wrap. To ensure that all finished boats arrive at the dealership in perfect condition, they are securely loaded and transported on company-owned trucks driven by company-employed professional drivers. At Crown Line, all boats are built to dealer specifications, loaded and shipped immediately after production. Unlike other manufacturers, Crown Line does not build stock product, which can age and be less than factory fresh when delivered.